Donald Trump is planning to visit, and I wish we could find this a sound. I heard this on 1010 Wins, I think, uh, the other day. The, the newscaster said Donald Trump plans to go to, um, to uh, England and uh, meet with the Queen. And there was some concern that the Queen wouldn't be able to meet with him. And then they had this British guy on. I don't know who it was. I wasn't paying attention too much until he started talking. He's going, well, yes, the Queen is going to meet with him. And, of course, she has uh, experience of meeting with a wide variety of people, really horrible people. She's actually met with serial killers. And Are you serious? <laughs> so I don't think Donald Trump, there'll be a problem. Uh, the Queen would like, receive John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> this doesn't really say anything. And so uh, it'll be no problem at all for the Queen. She can, she's handled with she can, mass murderers. I know that's what yeah, it was. Yeah. Yes, she's met with mass murderers. So I think uh, she will be able to handle herself. I don't think she's very worried. Oh, like we're so innocent. And um, <laughs> but John Burkow, uh, Burkow, the Speaker of the Lower House of Parliament. House of Commons. Uh, house of Commons. The House of Commons, which is the Lower House. Uh and he's what, like number three, right? In the uh, in the way that you would do it, right? You get the speaker of the. Uh, uh, I don't know what the succession of power. You mean like if the prime minister and the deputy yeah, prime minister? I, think I don't know what the succession the of government. power is. Um, he's not. F well, whatever. Yes, it's an important. Runs the house. He the said <laughs> that uh, Donald Trump can come. They'll let him in the country, apparently, but. That's where it's going to end. An address by a foreign leader to both houses of parliament is not an automatic right. It is an earned honor. Moreover, there are many precedents for state visits to take place to our country, which do not include an address to both houses of parliament. That's the first point. The second point is, in relation to Westminster Hall, there are three key holders to Westminster Hall, the Speaker of the House of Commons, the Speaker of the House of Lords, and the Lord Great Chamberlain. Ordinarily, we are able to work by consensus and the hall would be used for a purpose, such as an address or another purpose, by agreement of the three key holders. I must say to the honourable gentleman, to all who signed his early day motion, and to others with strong views about this matter on either side of the argument, that before the imposition of the migrant ban, I would myself have been strongly opposed to an address by President Trump in Westminster Hall. After the imposition of the migrant ban by President Trump, I am even more strongly opposed to an address by President Trump in Westminster Hall. So maybe they're just going to make him do it in, like, um, I don't know, they have VFW halls there? <laughs> I could do it at a KFC. Maybe my dad could build a casino in London. Oh, wait, he's dead. What the hell? It's totally unfair. I want to do it in the palace anyways. I yeah, want to I do want it. To. I want to do it from the throne. Let me sit on the throne for five yeah, minutes. Let me have the throne, queen. I want the throne. Want the throne? I want Ivanka next to me. Steve's going to write. Steve has a speech about Britain and a secret white race that came from an alien planet and have been oppressed by black people, I'm going to deliver it on the throne. Me and Nigel are going to rent a castle. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.